Hey, Brendan here. Sometimes people ask us what a chunk is in digitizing in the AI vectorizer, and I'm going to show you exactly what that is. So let's say I'm digitizing this uh, USGS map, and I have my scratch layer, and I'm using the AI vectorizer. Normally, we start digitizing by doing two clicks, and if you notice the red box, See, we actually split every raster into a bunch of boxes, and we call those chunks. Here, I've loaded one chunk, which is why this green boundary is square. And when I move my mouse into another chunk, it actually sends that chunk to our server. The server processes it, and then it predicts future lines inside that chunk. And so digitizing with the AI vectorizer loads multiple chunks at once. And so in this case, I've loaded three chunks and I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to click again. And I want to keep going, so I'm going to load a fourth chunk. Now in this case, I've used one, two, three, four chunks. And so that is the usage that we're tracking when you use the AI vectorizer. Uh, it's about how many chunks your line passes through. Now, if you go back into the same chunk again, that won't be double counted. Um, and so for that reason, um, chunks kind of go a long way in digitization. Uh, and so when you consider different pricing tiers and uh, how many chunks you're allocated per day in each one, it's basically a matter of how many resources you're using on our servers uh, to perform your digitization work. Um, and this uh, green square is really the best way of thinking about one chunk.